Hello, I would like to present to you one of my designs in one of the projects I was involved in as a project electrical engineer. This is about the design of this manhole which uh, has to comply with existing electrical standards and also to comply with existing uh, existing conditions of the area. Uh, I am here standing on the manhole in its, in its construction stage and as you can see obviously the depth is not really that deep no because the depth of most manholes is supposed to be at least 600 uh, millimeter but this one is uh, shorted in a way that it has to be in such a depth because of the existing physical condition of the area. In my next slide, you will notice that when we were exca excavating this uh, for this manhole, there are already existing uh, electrical conduits in this area which are actually live. And there is no way that we have to crack, crack these uh, pipes, of course, but and also to come to another uh, location to avoid these uh, pipes. But this is the only route that has, can be used for this electrical project. So the only solution is to make this manhole on top of the existing pipes. So this manhole is situated on top of those electrical uh, electrical pipes without uh, uh, any disturbances in the in the structure of these uh, electrical pipes it was left as it is and all we had to do is to come up with a manhole just on top of those electrical pipes so the concern here is now more on the dimension of the of this manhole and I can show this with an AutoCAD drawing which I also drew drawn as you can see in this electrical drawing uh, the route of the pipes is uh, quite definite or fixed because it has to pass through from that point and extends to this point here until it reaches the electrical room of the entire project or building. And the other one is this part of the pipes is in parallel, is in parallel with the sidewalk, no? To conform with the symmetry of the sidewalk. These blue lines are actually the excavated part for the pipes to for these pipes to pass through. And in order to continue with the design of the manhole, uh, these intersections were made. And this is the center point of this intersection. And from this intersection, I draw a circle which is at least one meter in diameter that is a one meter diameter circle and as you can see the pipes touches is in tangent with this circle no that is the reason that the length of these pipes is only until this end and this part of the pipes is also until this end. This is the defining uh, diagram where the end point of these pipes are made. From here, we try to create a line. Huh? A line which should measure at least 9 centimeters so 
first we come up with this on the center doubling it we are able to arrive to a 90 centimeter line or 900 millimeter line and also for this part we try to locate center this is the center of this uh, of this of this section no then we try to rotate it so that it shall be in parallel with these pipes we need this line to be also in this the same dimension which is 90 centimeter so this is already 500 we need to extend it until it becomes uh, 90 centimeter we just add uh, 400 no So from here to this point should be 900 now. But again, we need to put it at the center. So this is 900 and again this is 900. From this point, we connect these two ends together. See? And as you can see, we are already forming the dimension of the uh, this manhole. So actually, from this point, we are able to arrive to the final dimension. This is the final dimensions of the manhole. See? To know the specific uh, dimensions in measure in measurement. These are the exact dimensions of the of this uh, manhole. <coughs> This part here extends to 900 as it was drawn and then on this side it only measures until 988 <coughs> millimeter. This is now the final dimensions of this manhole. So we are now have the final dimensions of the manhole and from this point we need to create now to actual works from this uh, drawing. So we start with putting the deformed bars around it and then also putting this uh, form woods to catch the concrete that will be poured over on this uh, on this uh, manhole this little uh, this pipe here is actually the manhole drain which is required in all manholes let me it be electrical or plumbing 
all manholes are by standards required to have a manhole drain. It is obviously the purpose of this is obviously the water that comes into this manhole will flow out from this drain. Otherwise, this whole manhole will be filled with water should uh, strong rains will come, no? As you can see in this sec, in this draw, in this photograph, photo, uh, we have already created uh, some uh, excavations. One leading to the building, and the other leading to the pedestal. This is now the part where the manhole is filled with concrete, and then the pipes that is supposed to intersect that is supposed to pass through this uh, manhole is also done, no? As you can see, pipes on this section and pipes going to the building are now inserted to this uh, manhole. Again, you can see the manhole drain on this section. Extending the picture is, you can see the pipes uh, laid out, no? laid out and this is another view of the manhole where we can see the pipes going through and inside the uh, under the pedestal on this part the daily workers are starting to pour concrete over the pipes This is nearly finishing the concrete being poured over the pipes. And when it is already all covered with concrete, a group of uh, electricians now are doing their part to insert the cables through the conduits. This uh, process of putting uh, process of putting these uh, cables does not only take place for a day. In fact, I can count at least a week because you need a lot of cables and for each hole you need four cables and imagine this extends until the very end of the building. After the cables are already inside, completing the cables already inside, this is the part where the earth rod is being placed. All manholes are required to have one each earth rod. And this is how we do the installation of the earth rod. First, we try to erect it at a very perpendicular way. And from there, we try to push this earth rod under the ground pushing this uh, under the ground <laughs> with a soil that is not so soft normally takes the whole day. That's why when we were able, we were able to finish it uh, around when it was already dark. I mean, it was already in the evening. So this is now the earth rod finished already uh, embedded in the ground. And the uh, earth cable also connected to the earth rod. This is now the way it looks when the cables are have already passed through the conduits or pipes. I apologize that I don't have a photo of the finished product with the uh, manhole cover of this uh, manhole. Anyway, this finishes the procedure of putting, of creating this uh, manhole for this uh, project. For this uh, second slide, I would like to invite you or anyone you know to recommend me to do electrical engineering services to your uh, projects or to your friends' uh, structures, 
because as an electrical engineering graduate or an electrical engineer by profession, I also do on my own uh, electrical engineering services like this one. Design and build. And here are the outline or the different uh, services that I can actually do. And also, aside from this, I would like to invite you to I would like to invite you in my uh, YouTube channels. One is this one with my complete name, with my name on it. And the other one is the is this one which has a YouTube channel with the name Create3DBT. <laughs> Create3DBT is a more uh, focused on 3D, uh, 3D drawings or figures that I develop myself. So hopefully I see you in the future subscribing to my different channels or perhaps in one of your future projects that I can be involved in. Thank you and I hope you have all a good day. Bye-bye.